The surface of this object is an ellipsoid. Place it on a hard, flat surface and give it a spin. It likes to spin in the clockwise direction. Try to spin it in the counterclockwise direction. It rattles, it stops, and goes back in its preferred direction. It is a rattleback. Turn it over and try again. Now it resists going clockwise and prefers to go counterclockwise. It is a chiral back. Hello, my name is Randolph Bradley with Arctic Park, and I'd like to give you a quick introduction to the design of the chiral backs. Let's design an ellipsoid. What we're looking at here is a three-dimensional solid model of one half of the uh, ellipsoid. You add two halves together, uh, they're symmetrical, and you get a chiral back. This is designed in a 3D solid modeling system called Bobcad CAM. The CAD is the computer-aided design. The CAM is the computer-aided machining. I'm here at Medvac Incorporated at 2011 Florida Street in downtown St. Louis, Missouri. Let's go inside and machine some chiral backs. So here we are, machining the ellipsoids on the Fidal vertical milling machine. We've got a part that starts like this after being roughed with the cavity, and now we're machining the profile of the uh, surface, and that will end up with a part that's in like this when we're all done. And we're in the middle of a special pass on the edge in order to uh, clean up the surface to reduce the amount of sanding that's necessary. And it's going well. We've reduced the cutting uh, time down to about half an hour per part to slightly under uh, 10 minutes per part. Here we're looking towards downtown St. Louis at St. Louis's famous Gateway Arch. We're here at the Art Department Brytec Manufacturing Complex at 2035 Del Mar Boulevard in the city of St. Louis. This is where the chiral backs were manufactured. Okay, let's assemble some ellipsoids. Here are the ellipsoids as they come out from Medvac. They're machined and paired. We try to do is look at the grain of the wood and adjust the flow so the curvature both goes to the same size side so that we have a beautiful matching ellipsoid. I'm going to take the A half, we've got them marked as an A and a B half, and the two halves fold together like a clamshell. We're going to take the A half and insert some uh, 3 16 inch diameter by half inch long dowel pins. And these dowel pins that we're inserting are going to act as weights on the extreme edges of the part. And they'll give us uh, just enough difference in weight that we'll get the desired uh, effect of rattling back with our chiral backs. There we go. This is the secret to the chiral back. The location of the pins and the hollowed out cavity uh, that go together to give us our chiral back. Now we'll go ahead and glue this together. We're carefully hand finishing these beautiful lip slides. We'll sand them down with 100 grit paper and then 120 to 180 grit paper 
and then 220 paper before finishing them with tongue oil. Here are the final ellipsoids. They've had their second coat of tongue oil and they're now drying under a fan. They'll require finishing with one more coat of tongue oil. And the way we finish these ellipsoids is first each one gets coated, gets um, sanded down with steel wool. Then we wipe off any excess pieces of steel wool with a tack cloth. Then I use a special staining sponge with the tongue oil to go over each ellipsoid so you get a nice smooth coat.